Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment. And what we have for sale here today is a Cat 140H. We're gonna do this video in the shop here today. We normally don't ever do that. And the reason we're doing it is because it's raining like hell out there. Um, we're kind of jumping in and out of raindrops, but the other reason is that if we run this motor grader in the mud, it's gonna, the, the type of clay that we have here is gonna make it look like these tires are practically bald because it'll take in there so anyway we're gonna do it in the shop we've got some lights set up so you can see what the machine's at if you buy this machine from me or any of the other machines we have for sale we got a bunch of loaders a water truck dump truck we got a, a Volvo uh, going back this way we got an L120 there with uh, forks um, we got Quite a few little mini excavators. We got that uh, PC 460. I'm sorry, PC 350. We got that CX 460. You can see we got a bunch of wheel loaders, that water truck. Anyway, the point is if you buy this tractor from me or any of the other machines I have for sale, you're going to be dealing with the guy running the camera, my right hand man, Pro Provencio. So, uh, price on a new machine like this these days is. Uh, well over 300,000 um, we actually have the uh, the original owner oh the serial number of the machine thank you bro is uh, 2 ZK uh, 0085 I'm gonna laugh, leave that last digit blank um, price on a new machine like this is well over 300,000 maybe 350,000 this machine, when it was bought new by the original owner who we bought it from, paid over 225,000 for it. So, and they really hold their value quite well. Uh, this unit has got a, uh, the hour meter says uh, 5,783. The service meter says 5,783. As far as manufacturers go, everybody knows Caterpillar. Caterpillar is ubiquitous out there. Um, this machine weighs 32,357 pounds with that ripper. The widest point are actually the tires right there at eight foot, eight foot six inches wide. The highest point is the top of that cab at 10 and a half feet. The transportation length from the end of that ripper to the front of that, uh, the bull nose on, the, uh, on this blade is uh, 27 feet. Comparable machines are like a John Deere. It's a little bit bigger than a John Deere 670, but smaller than a 770. Maybe a Galleon 850 uh, a motor grader or a Cat 140M. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost every machine we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because we are not in a, in a uh, corrosive environment. Uh, we're 300 miles from the ocean, and we're far enough south that we don't uh, plow snow or anything like that. I mean, we, these tractors are, I mean, you'll see where, you know, where the paint's rubbed off and the rainwater's gotten to it. But like I say, the, the point is, is that this machine is in no way, shape, or form rust pervasive. I mean, that salt is a nasty thing. It gets into the, into the, uh, DT connectors on your electrical components and just it just is a mess but uh, this machine is 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 rust free um, like I said it's an original owner Dallas Texas machine um, just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large contractor or municipality here in the Metroplex um, this uh, the people that we bought this blade from uh, had a, we've done a lot of business with them. I mean, I mean, quite possibly in the uh, millions of dollars over the years. And uh, we, they bought from us, we bought from them. Uh, and uh, we've been happy with all the machines that they sell. They've got an excellent maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. And uh, like I said, we've been happy with all the machines we purchased from these guys. And um, you know, before I purchase any machine, when we hear that somebody's got a machine that they're wanting to sell, or machines that they're wanting to sell, I have a couple of mechanics go out and inspect the machine. 
And um, if they say it's okay, then I have my right hand man, Pro Provincial, go out, he inspects the machine. And if he says it's okay and the money's right, then I personally go out and I inspect the machine before I write a check. As far as options on this motor grader go, you can see that it's got an enclosed cab. Uh, the heater and the air conditioner works on this machine. Um, it, is a, it, it is optioned with a ripper here, a fully functioning ripper. Three, six, nine, you got a place for nine scar fire teeth or two, four, five ripper teeth. I should have got the. I don't. I don't know how tall that is. Though. That, that's probably about. I don't know. Maybe about 18 inches, right here. Maybe a foot. Probably a foot. I guess a foot. Um. It's got a key battery disconnect here, so if you're going to let the tractor sit for any time, you want to turn that off so that you don't have a battery drain. Um, all of the fluid levels on this machine are where they should be. This machine is mechanically sound. It does not have a single leak on it. Everything on it works. Everything in the cab works. All the lights work. Uh, the transmission runs through all gears. I think it's an eight speed transmission, eight forward. And I think it's six in reverse. Um, this uh, engine right here is a, uh, it's a six cylinder. Uh, God dang it, I can't remember what size engine this is. This is a, uh, a 3306 engine. This is a variable horsepower machine. So uh, in uh, first and second gear, you got 165 horsepower. And uh, in uh, three through six, actually three through eight, it's 185 horsepower. Um, these tires here, oh, top speed in forward is 27 miles an hour. Top speed in reverse is 21. Uh, these tires here are in excellent, excellent condition. They're 17.5 R25s. These are um, what they call, I would call them snow tires. Even though we don't plow snow, they're just, uh, they just give better flotation and they uh, just less, less, they've got good ground, uh, good traction, but they don't uh, tear up the ground as, as much because of the profile of the tire. Uh, the hydraulics are strong on this machine. There's no cracks or any welds around the circle or the saddle area. All of the pins and the bushings are relatively tight. There's, there's no deflection in the articulation joint here or in that blade either. This uh, cutting edge right here, this is a, about a, it's about 95%. That's a neat cutting edge on there. All the way across. That's a 14 foot mold board, by the way. Um, it's a uh, two foot tall. And uh, I think that's about it, Pro. You got anything else? Oh, as far as things wrong with it, uh, there's a couple little cracks on the windshield right there. Not a big deal, it does not obstruct your vision. And then there's another crack over here. It's not, not a big deal. Like I said, it doesn't really uh, obstruct your vision. Um, but other than that, what, what, uh, what were you gonna say, Pearl? It starts real good and the hydraulics are fast on it. Fast and strong and uh, yes. very responsive. Uh, like I say, no leaks. It's a it's a good 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 motor grader. We're gonna run it in the next clip. There is a buzzer going off in the cab, but it
controls and your articulation controls. There's your uh, air conditioner controls. It's a pin lock. You got eight forward, six in reverse. Um, oh, you also have a top con uh, set up there. Uh, that's that break in the window. That's the other break right there. But all the glass is in it. This is the seat. 